Hi, I'm Kyle with DIY Auto Homeschool, and this is our first video in our series on advanced alignment angles. Now, in our last video, we talked about the basic alignment angles, uh, caster, camber, and toe. But in this series, we're going to talk about some of the alignment angles that are not directly adjustable. Uh, but they still play really big parts in the steering and suspension geometry of a vehicle and how it drives down the road. So the first ones we're going to look at are steering axis inclination, included angle, and scrub radius. Although the scrub radius isn't a, uh, an angle, but it is something that plays a big part in the steering, uh, in the steering system. So just like caster was a tilt of the steering axis, steering axis inclination is the same thing. The only difference is in this case we're viewing the suspension from the front, uh, from the straight ahead. So draw, uh, drawing a line through the upper and the lower steering pivot, uh, in this case we use an upper and lower ball joint to illustrate it, we, we draw this line and compare it to a vertical. Now the difference between the two is your steering axis inclination angle measurement. It may not be perfectly uh, accurate but we're going to call this 20 degrees just for illustration purposes. Now the, diff uh, the, the distance between where that line intersects the ground and where the center of the tire intersects the ground that's called your scrub radius. Now the scrub radius has to be equal from one side of the vehicle to the other. You have to have the same amount of tire uh, contacting the road. That is how the, um, these angles are designed to project the weight of the vehicle onto the road. That's how they want it to sit when it's driving down the road or when it's sitting still. So it's very important that all these angles be exactly right so that the weight of the vehicle sits on the tires exactly how it's uh, designed to. Now for the scrub radius, uh, as I've got written out down here, the scrub radius is positive if the contact patch is outside the SAI angle as it is here. This is our contact patch, this is the SAI angle, it's on the outside edge so this would be uh, positive, um, sorry, po positive scrub radius. If this angle contacted on the other side of center and the contact patch was on the inside of the steering axis inclination measurement uh, lower line then it would be negative scrub radius. Um, but the biggest thing with scrub, scrub radius is that it is equal on both sides of the vehicle. It's not a angle that can be measured. It's, um, it's an ang angle that's inferred, uh, that's determined by all the other angles being properly set, uh, which is just the case with SAI as well and included angle because it, uh, it involves the other angles. We'll talk about that here. Now, uh, the purpose of SAI, as I touched on briefly, is to locate the weight of the vehicle on the tires uh, through the suspension exactly how they want it to sit. The other purpose it serves is that it will return the steering system to the center or to the straight ahead after you're done with the turn. The way it does this is with this steering axis being tilted in, it creates an arc on the steering system. As you can see, if you were to have a, um, a pivot point, we'll draw out here, and the steering axis rotates around this. Sorry, my arrows are a little off. But this being your pivot point and the steering axis rotating around this, you can see that the high point here is going to be at the straight ahead because this view is looking straight down the high point in this uh, angle is going to be when this wheel is facing straight ahead. So whenever you turn the wheel, it's actually trying to bring the tire down and it tries to pull up and compress the spring. It uh, fights against the weight of the vehicle. Then you have the weight of the vehicle pushing through the spring, trying to push this back to the top of its arc and th thus centering the steering wheel. So that's how steering axis inclination has a tendency and it's supposed to return the steering wheel to center. So when you're driving down the road and you make a turn and you let go of the steering wheel and you notice that it wants to run back on its own towards the straight ahead, that's the steering axis inclination doing its job. You can see this just sitting in a driveway. If you take your vehicle sitting still, 
and turn the wheel, you'll notice that one side of the, the front of the vehicle will seem to dip, one side will seem to rise. That's your steering axis inclination working. That's this, uh, this angle pushing through the suspension and loading up the spring against the weight of the vehicle so that when you let go, that weight wants to push this right back to the high point and there you are with the wheels uh, facing straight ahead. Now due to the fact that there is actually rubber and a lot of weight scrubbing on the ground, it can't always push it straight back all the way straight ahead, but it will get it going that direction so it's not hard to turn back. That's one of the biggest things and the one, one of the biggest effects that steering axis inclination has. Now included angle is quite simply camber added to our steering axis inclination. Uh, so in this illustration, as I said, we have 20 degrees of steering, ax uh, steering axis inclination and we're showing one degree of camber. This is the difference between the vertical and the center line of the vehicle. So our included angle in this situation would be 21 degrees because that's our steering axis inclination with our camber added to it. That's all uh, included angle is. It's because it's the SAI with the camber included. So our next video we're going to talk about uh, thrust line uh, alignment or thrust angle alignment and how it can affect a uh, vehicle's tendency to pull or drift to one side and a steering wheel being straight. So stay tuned for that video. It'll follow up this one shortly.